UK. There is Dr. Sinclair, and she just published article about those medication and possible effects on people with a different type of headache from migraine, people who have elevated pressure inside the head. I heard her talk a few years ago uh, at HCOP, and I got intrigued because she shows these people who go to space, and she said when they come back, they might have elevated pressure. And I, I still remember I, I got fascinated by this interesting statement. I was following these medications, but not for uh, not for migraine. I just was thinking, oh, that would be so great if we can have additional medication medication to use for someone with elevated intracranial pressure because it's definitely big gap in treatment for this group of people. We try to use diuretics, uh, we try to say please lose weight, uh, but it's not it's not easy to do. And uh, we work together, we achieve success, but it would be wonderful if we have another tool. And then I was in my clinic a few years after, and I start seeing this new group of medication. And because of holistic approach, I'm asking always, what medications you on? And so I start to see uh, new, 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 new. And I got interested. I got together with our director of weight center. And we have amazing conversation and I start reading about it and me and actually students and residents, we start researching, reviewing literature and um, basically those medications much better on vessels for weight loss than all the medication styles. All the medication styles, they could constrict vessels if, for example, people were using amphetamine-like substances. Uh, and those medications which we have now, such as semaglutide and other ones of this class of GLP-1 agonists, they may be even better for vessels. There is literature which suggests that they open up vessels, so better for the heart, possibly better for other internal organs. We do know that things which dilate vessel may be temporary, increase headache. What do we do? So we were able to take a look and we're doing a lot of nice procedures for headache for our patients, including SPG blocks, wonderful procedure without needle, <laughs> which is important for many people, uh, works uh, in many cases, occipital nerve blocks, and we do onobotulinum toxin A, and we would continue our standard treatment and adjust doses of those glutides. And what we end up seeing is that after this initial spike in headache, a most majority of our patients did so much better and uh, they achieved uh, better exercise tolerance, they mainly lost weight, and the headache improved with standard of care and just being together on that, working as a team with our colleagues in endocrinology, a weight center, primary care, um, and us in the headache center. And we are presenting, so our uh, next presentation will be at the scientific meeting of American Headache Society in June. Medical students, uh, they uh, actually lead the way in this case. I have medical student who is first author. I'm extremely proud. And uh, so more uh, presentation and research to come on that topic. So this meeting will be in June. And um, I'm really looking forward to discuss more of research in this direction. Because everything holistically making our patients live better, healthier, more functional lives and do what they want to do. I always say we support if someone wants to go to vacation, 
it's great we are here for functioning if someone wants to achieve something at work or in school we here for them so we will try to avoid all medication which can affect cognition and we will go with better medication in this sense